Hello everyone, I am David Lewis. And the purpose of this video is to clarify what was presented at the September 12th town hall meeting in case there was any general misunderstanding of the direction the board of directors would like to take the club. Now I'd like to begin by thanking all the committees that have worked diligently in providing their experience and expertise into developing this plan. Let me begin first with what is already in motion, and that is the addition of five new pickleball courts. These courts will be located over at our racket complex as you first enter the club property. Now, the original plan was for only two courts, but after careful consideration and the explosion of pickleball across the country, the recommendation was to add five courts, which will better enhance the overall club amenity with the potential to draw additional members. As for the golf courses, both courses are long overdue for major renovations. The greens are getting tired, the tee boxes are worn out, the bunkers are flat, and the course has major drainage issues. This board has spent countless hours working with the McCumber Group on an overhaul plan, and in 2024, we want to start with the classic course. There will be a complete renovation of all sand bunkers, which will include the redesigning and repositioning of numerous bunkers, which will provide for optimal playability and aesthetics. Every tee complex will be addressed. They will also add nine new forward tees and five new black tees. Now the forward tees will all be elevated to match the other tee boxes, which has been an area that many have asked for. This will enhance the course's flexibility in accommodating players of varying skill levels. There will also be a redesigned modification to holes 1, 8, 9, and 15. These changes will also enhance the visual appeal of the course and its playability. And finally, and probably most importantly, there will be a major undertaking and enhancement of the drainage system throughout the entire course. This course has serious issues when it rains as far as maintenance, playability, and just simply being open. Per the McCumber Group, there will be over six miles of drainage piping added to the course. And please note that 45% of the total cost of this project is the drainage. This course is now almost 40 years old, and it's time for an overhaul. So let's upgrade our course now. Our next plan will be the renovation of the challenge course. The scope of the work will be very similar to what we do on the classic course. Greens, tee boxes, and drainage. One area of concern is our social members. This category of membership provides an added revenue to the club which allows us to keep our monthly dues down. We currently are losing these members as we have very little to offer them and we are not signing up many now. Thus, as part of our plan, we would like to construct a full service fitness center and tennis pro shop. This facility would be built on the space that is currently occupying our existing tennis pro shop. The top floor would have approximately 2,000 square feet of gym, elliptical, and stretching equipment, plus locker rooms and showers. On the first floor would be a tennis pro shop, lounge, and snack area for our tennis members. By adding this within the next five years, in conjunction with our new pickleball courts, we can retain those social members that are leaving and hopefully entice others to join. Also on our list of club enhancements would be two outdoor golf hitting bays. These bays would be located on the current golf training pad over by the classic putting green. These bays will allow for lessons, club fittings, and use of our TrackMan system. And finally, we would like to create a more casual eating area that combines the old indoor poolside bar and the current snack bar. This area would serve our poolside bar, pool area users, and golfers. By adding this venue, we can provide a better selection, quality of food, and speed of delivery in this very commonly used area. As you can see, we have put together a list of projects that will bring our club up to date, enhance our member experience, and continuously attract new members. Currently, we only have a proposal for the McCumber renovation on the Classic course. That course will cost $1.8 million. The Challenge course renovation is estimated at around $2.4 million. We can estimate the Fitness Center and Tennis Pro Shop at $1.2 million, the Outdoor Hitting Bays at approximately $400,000, and the new Poolside Eating Area at approximately $1 million. Those are the costs. So how are we going to pay for this? Well, first, we plan to let the next 50 people on our golf wait list become full members as they are already utilizing our golf courses based on their social membership, thus bringing them into the club under the limited golf round membership, which allows them up to 72 rounds per year. It will not impact the pace of play, wear and tear of our golf courses, or availability of tee times, but will significantly increase capital revenue and add to the paying dues pool. Obviously, there must be contributions for these projects from our existing membership. Taking into consideration our current operating revenue, the operating increases necessary to run the club, which include increases in personnel, 
wages and benefits, plus the added increase in course maintenance, chemicals, fertilizer, sod, and sand, plus increases in general operating and maintenance items, there must be a corresponding monthly operational dues increase. Through extensive conversations and a thorough view of our needs, the board is proposing a monthly increase of 15%, plus allowing the 50 additional full memberships will be sufficient to cover the operational increases for 2024 and all the capital aspiration projects over the next five years. Additional increases in the future will be based solely on operational needs and requirements. Now, please note that without adding on these aspirational projects, there would still have to be an increase in dues in 2024 in the amount of about 10 to 12 percent, just to cover operating increased expenses. So, with the additional 3 to 5 percent, plus the 50 added members, we can add all these great aspirational projects to our budget across the five-year period. Now, we do realize there are going to be those who oppose these enhancements, those who are happy with the status quo, who are content with the current condition and amenities the club has to offer. There will always be those who resist change, want lower prices, and are content with how things operate. And we do realize that there are those who just feel a dues increase is unnecessary. And to those of you, we apologize. This was not an easy decision. So, the next question is why? Why are we investing all this money in our club? And the answer is simple, because this is what the members have told us they want. Each year the club conducts a survey, a survey of all of our members. Each year the survey clearly states that members want better golf courses, more dining options, and a fitness center that can be used on a regular basis. We need to think long and hard about the future of our club, the future members that we want here at the club. What do they want and need? Our club has been here for 48 years. We've had some ups and downs and we've always prevailed. But should we not all want to leave the club a better place when we leave than when we arrived? Please understand that we do not want anyone to leave our club. But when we look at other clubs and what they have to offer their members, we are grossly under providing amenities and quality. For some of you, the increase without tax will be less than $40 per month. And for others, it may be as much as $115 per month. But now look at all the amenities that our club has to offer our members. Two beautifully fully redesigned golf courses, three practice putting greens, a new short game area, two indoor hitting golf bays, eight tennis courts, five pickleball courts, a completely furnished fitness center, a new golf and tennis pro shop, new golf and tennis locker rooms, and numerous dining venues from a main dining room, poolside bar, and now a casual dining option. Sun Tree Country Club is and should always be a place everyone can be proud of, a place that we call our club. So let's make our club the best it can be. I truly hope you will support our decision to continue the growth of our club and the amenities it has to offer. And thank you so much for viewing this video.